This is Ecclesia Militans Radio, hosted by Tony La Rosa, fighting for the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and to maintain the line of the saintly Archbishop Marcel Lefebvre. Visit us at www.ecclesiamilitans.com for our archived radio programs and other information in promotion and defense of the Catholic faith. Prepare for battle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ecclesia Militans Radio. I am your host, Tony La Rosa. Before we begin our show, let us start off with a Hail Mary in honor of Our Lady of Good Success. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, you are listening to episode 4, recorded on Saturday, November the 3rd, 2018, in the year of our Lord. The title of this episode is, Was Ambrose Moran Consecrated a Bishop by Cardinal Slipe? The fundamental point presented by Father Pfeiffer regarding Ambrose Moran is that Ambrose Moran was consecrated a bishop by the Catholic Cardinal Slipe. Here is the main piece of evidence presented by Ambrose Moran to Father Pfeiffer that he was truly consecrated by Cardinal Slipe. The certificate says that the Divine Liturgy took place at Santa Sofia Church in Rome in July 1976. Notice that the St. Clement Church got changed to St. Sophia and there's actually no day recorded. Back in October 2015 I sent this certificate to Rome to a Don Marco Yaroslav Semahen at Santa Sofia Church in Rome, the same church that Ambrose Moran said that he was consecrated a bishop of Cardinal Slipe. And here in red is the response I got. And I posted it on November 1st, 2015 on my Ecclesia Militans website. So Don Marco says, Hey Tony, document is an absolutely false. I ran the document for verification to close the social Cardinal Slipe of that period and those of Monsignor Ivan Muzika and Monsignor Ivan Daco. And it was shown to be negative. So here is the first major contradiction to the claim made by Ambrose Moran that he was consecrated a bishop of Cardinal Slipe. After this November 1st, 2015 post, just over three years ago, Father Pfeiffer and Father Hugo made a statement published on Filie Marie blog stating that they would not associate with Ambrose Moran but they did not give any reason for for doing so for not associating with, with him so over time the Ambrose Mor Moran issue kind of died off but then what happened in some time in spring summer 2018 some of us learned that Father Pfeiffer brought Ambrose Moran to conditionally ordain a former uh, priest of the fraternity of St. Peter Father Poisson and after that Father Poisson was uh, 
sent to the uh, some of the mass center circuits of Father Pfeiffer. Now that Ambrose Moran was back in the picture, I decided to make a second inquiry to the same Santa Sofia Church in Rome. And this time, it was a different priest, a Don Andrea Soleski, the vice rector of San Sofia Church, and he wrote to me this, Glory to Jesus Christ, let me give you a brief response on your request concerning the presence in the historical archives of the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Church in Rome of the documents testifying the possible bishop ordination of William Moran by Patriarch Joseph. Checking the main archival funds and, and uh, cases revealed, by the revealed the complete absence of such documents. Moreover, the comparison of signatures on his Beatitude Joseph and His Excellency Boretsky from that period with the signatures in the document sent by you certify that your document is a falsification of the signature signatures in it are fake. Now a couple of weeks ago Father Pfeiffer gave a conference at Our Lady Mount Carmel Seminary and Church in which he pretty much discounted this part of this response from Father Andrea Soleski. But then he went on to kind of give credence to the second part where it is said here by the same Don Andrea Soleski that um, a Bishop Nicholas and two priests, Ivan Ropke and William Moran, had written a letter ask, uh, to uh, Bishop Bresky, and Bishop Bresky gave wrote a letter to Cardinal Slipe in regards to to this uh, this bishop and priests, these this bishop and these two priests which by the way are um, orthodox and the request was made to see whether or not they can be uh, placed under the jurisdiction of uh, Cardinal Slipe. So Father Pfeiffer in his conference two weeks ago discounts the first portion but then give somewhat credence to the second portion. Why well, say sorry, Father Pfeiffer? You know you you can't take the same communication and pick and choose what you want from it. You either reject everything or you accept everything. But nonetheless, we see here. I think a few people have missed that it says here in a draft of the response letter. Patriarch Joseph asked Boreski to send the original documents and to find out more about the canonical status of the requesters. Uh, this is important because a dr it's just a draft. So more than likely this had not been sent. I don't know what happened after that, but it clearly says this is a draft. So we can, I think it's fair to assume that the letter, this draft letter, was never finalized. Otherwise, otherwise, the final letter would have been in the archives. And even more recently, there is a Father Andrea Charvaski, who actually was ordained a priest by Cardinal Slipe. And this father attests that Ambrose Moran was not consecrated a bishop by Cardinal Slipe, as Father Travaski was at Cardinal Slipe Seminary at that time. You can find these on the Ecclesia Manual Times website, 
just go down click on the William Ambrose Moran title under the category section and what you'll find is um, a reverse chronolo chronological order of uh, all the posts I made uh, related to uh, Ambrose Moran. Now the claim is made that that these priests, uh, the first two, uh, Don Marco and Don Soletsky, well, they could be lying. Really? I don't believe either of these priests have a dog in this fight. They're simply responding to a request that I made to verify an allegation that Ambrose Moran was consecrated a bishop of Cardinal Slipe. I approached them. They did not come to me. So I think uh, we can have an assurance that they are not lying. And for Father Travaski, I mean, he even gave me his email address and his phone number to be published for anybody who has questions. Uh, so he's someone here in North America that can be contacted. And these priests as well, they also can be contacted. Here is a snapshot, a screenshot from where both Don Semahan and Don Soleski can be contacted to verify this information. So if you're interested, please contact them yourself. Now, there is another gentleman who actually contacted me without any solicitation on my part. His name is Mr. James DeSantis. And what he said to me was that he recognized on this website Took a look at some of these pictures and he recognized Ambrose Moran. As his grade eight teacher in 1970 to 71. And according to Mr. DeSantis, Ambrose Moran came into the Incarnation Catholic Elementary School in New York, Queens Village. And presented himself as a brother and began teaching from 1970. Now, Mr. DeSantis was not able to present to me a, any pictures uh, of uh, the class from 1970 to 1971. However, what he was able to find through some friends that he, he knows from his, from his elementary school are two pictures, one from the 1972 class, so that would be 1971 to 1972, and we see William Moran right here. And then we 
1973 class, we see William Ryan here. So these show that it's objective evidence that William Moran, aka Ambrose Moran, was a teacher, at least from 1971 to 1973. And we hold to if we hold to Mr. DeSanti's testimony, then uh, actually he would have started in 1970. So that means from 1970 to 1973, Ambrose Moran was a school teacher. Now, on this uh, same website here, there are presented pictures that claim that Ambrose Moran in 1971 was in the seminary. Here. The first two pictures of the future Archbishop Ambrose as a seminarian. The top picture is from 1969 and the bottom picture is from 1971. So I took the pictures on my post on my website that I made on August 5th, 2018. I took these two pictures so Mr. DeSanti's story plus these two pictures contradict this particular claim. We see here that he was in the 1972 class. So from 1971 to 1972. Mr. DeSanti says that no, he was also there in 1970, starting in September 1970. So there is another contradiction to one of the one of the claims made by Amos Moran. And Mr. DeSanti will stand by his word. He's willing to um, to speak to anybody that is interested. I did speak to him over the phone a couple of times. You can reach him at this email right here if you're interested in interested in getting more information from him um, but we see here that um, that there is definitely some serious controversy here regarding whether or not he was truly in the seminary in 1971 now Am Ambrose Moran also claims that he was ordained a priest by Cardinal Slipe in 1974. Well, we can see here that up until 1973, he was a teacher at an elementary school. And he had been, if he was at the seminary before 1970, the year that, before September 1970, the time uh, at which uh, Mr. DeSanti says that Ambrose Moran was um, began as a teacher at the Incarnation School. This would make it approximately three years that Ambrose Moran was out of the seminary. So I find it very difficult to believe that being a school teacher, an elementary school teacher for three years, and then being ordained a priest by Cardinal Slipe the year after he leaves the elementary school. Um, why? Why would Cardinal Slipe ordain a man that just got out of elementary school uh, from being a teacher? and ordain him a priest and then two years later consecrate him a bishop 
It is not the normal procedure to be in a seminary for six, seven years consecutively prior to even being considered to the priesthood. Hmm, very interesting. In November of 2015, Father Juan Ortiz was investigating uh, this Ambrose Moran issue. And what he did was he sent several documents to a father, to a father Bodin Balinsky of the Ukrainian Catholic Eparchy of Toronto because William Moran had some communications with this eparchy uh, back in the uh, mid 70s and uh, early 80s. Now one of the documents that was presented was this letter here dated February 14, 1975. And this letter is on the website with many of the pictures of uh, William slash Ambrose Moran. So here is that 1975 letter on that website. Okay, so this is the letter on the website. And this letter from the from Father uh, Bolinsky to Father Ortiz. It's a 1975 letter. Okay, so it's the same letter as this one here. And Father Bolinsky says, this is an authentic letter. So the 1975 letter is authentic. It was in the archives of the Eparchy of Toronto. So let's take a look at that letter. In this letter, let's read it all. It's very short. It's a letter written by Bishop Barucki, once again, February 14, 1975, to William Moran. And it says, Dear Father, having taken into consideration your petition for incarnation into the Eparchy of Toronto, I am happy to inform you that you are accepted as a priest of this Eparchy for a period of two years from the above date. This is the condition on which we receive any priest who has not been specifically ordained for the Eparchy of Toronto. After this time, a review of your record will be made and the possibility of incarnation will be discussed. Notice, Father Pfeiffer always says that William Moran was or, uh, incarnated into the Eparchy of Toronto. He was not. He was not incarnated. This letter only presents a possibility of future incarnation after a two-year period. So, and this is verified by, by Father Belinsky. He says, this is Father Belinsky writing, William Moran was not incarnated into the Eparchy of Toronto and Eastern Canada. I do hereby declare that Moran is not and never has been incarnated into the Eparchy of Toronto in Eastern Canada. So Father Pfeiffer, please stop saying that, that uh, Ambrose Moran was incarnated into the Eparchy of Toronto as a priest. He was not. The letter itself that you keep referencing clearly shows that it's after a period of time the possibility of incarnation will be discussed. So this letter does, is not a letter of incarnation. It's simply saying 
the possibility after two year period. In the meantime, we permit you to reside in the United States of America for the purpose of continuing your graduate studies and recommend you to perform any pastoral duties should your services be required during your stay, Bishop Recchi. So this is an authentic letter. Notice also it contains a protocol number, number 2 slash 75C. That's important. Now on the same website that presents all the documents and pictures of Ambrose Moran, there is another letter here dated August 26, 1976. Now notice this letter does not have a protocol number okay but supposedly it's another letter addressed by Bishop Arecki to William Moran and it states basically that you know congratulations for your consecration by Cardinal Slipe uh, also Bishop Arecki if we if we see the certificate um, you see Bishop Recchi down here, okay? Make that a little bit bigger. Bishop Recchi. So Bishop Recchi was a co-consecrator, according to this certificate, a co-consecrator of Ambrose Moran, according to this certificate, along with the main consecrator, Cardinal Slipe, and another co-consecrator, Bishop Dimitri, okay? But in this letter, following, you know, this, 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 uh, if we go back to the uh, certificate, remember it's July 1976 that supposedly he was consecrated a bishop. That is Ambr Ambrose Moran. So now this is approximately one year later. And in this letter, Bishop Reiki is, is uh, congratulating him uh, for his consecration and basically um, giving him some kind of ju uh, jurisdiction, some kind of appointment as a as a uh, uh, a successor uh, and we know that you can look it up yourself that, that it was not uh, uh, Ambrose Moran was not a, the successor to Cardinal Slipe okay so anyways regarding this letter like I said there's no protocol number data one year later but supposedly comes from Bishop Bracky this was also presented to Father Belinsky of in November 2015 of the Catholic Eparchy of Toronto. This is the one that's referencing right here. Notice, a copy of this letter is not in our files. The signature on this document is not congruent with other signatures of Bishop Isidore that we have on file. I allege that this document, this document is a forgery. That is what um, Father Belinsky of the Eparchy of Toronto wrote in November, on November 18, 2015. Okay? And as I said, this letter that Father Belinsky claims is a forgery is on the, uh, the website of Ambrose Moran, along with all these pictures. Now here we see another letter dated June 30th 1980 now this letter is from William Moran to Bishop Barecki Isidore Barecki okay this letter here is not found on this website hmm very convenient that it's not mm. I'll explain to you why. Well, where did I get this letter from? This letter was given by Father Belinsky. And you see on, on this letter that Father Belinsky wrote, this 
1980 document is not on here because what Father Ortiz presented to Father Belinsky was the documentation that was available on this main on this website here Amrose Moran's uh, website with all his pictures and I guess some other other areas that that uh, Father uh, Father Ortiz uh, received pictures or documents from so it is Father Belinsky that presented this letter and said that this letter is in the eparchy of Toronto archives that's where this letter comes from okay so it was uh, father Belinsky presented this letter saying okay this is this is the documentation that we have in our archives related to Ambrose Moran and they were this to the 1975 letter with the protocol which is an authentic letter of Bishop Rocky to address to William Moran and then this 1980 letter uh, which is a letter from William Moran addressed to Bishop Recchi. Now this is very interesting. Remember, Bishop Recchi, according to this consecration certificate that Ambrose Moran presented, is a coal consecrator, right? It's a coal consecrator. of Ambrose Moran with Bishop Dimitri and the main consecrator Cardinal Slipe. So this letter that William Moran addressed to Bishop Recchi you can see here um, William Moran at the top he signs it at the bot bottom as Father Moran. Hmm, very interesting he signs it as Father Basil Moran but hold on, in 1976, it is claimed that Bishop Brecky is one of the co-consecrated consecrators of Ambrose Moran to the episcopate. W why is he addressing himself as father in a letter four years later, right? 1976 letter, which is which Father Belinsky claims to be a forgery, and. The 1980 letter four years later so in this letter let's read this so he we already see there's a problem here he's addressing himself as father Moran when really he should be addressing himself as as a Bishop Moran right but let's see the content of the letter this is William Moran speaking most reverend and dear excellency I'm writing to inform your grace that I have submitted to the jurisdiction of Metropolitan Archbishop Theod Theodosius of the Orthodox Church in America in order to regular regularize myself finally wait hold on hold on regular first of all he's applying to an Orthodox Church secondly he's saying I gotta I am trying to regularize myself finally well, well hold on hold on here in this supposed 1976 letter four years before that um, he was appointed um, to the uh, to the co co adjutor successor of Cardinal Slipe. wouldn't he have been actually wouldn't he have been even regularized since 1975 because you know according to Father Pfeiffer and according to uh, William Moran you know he was incarnated in the uh, Epicurean Toronto we know that's not true just by reading the letter itself, but that's the claim being made. So from 1974, and then in 1976, being consecrated bishop, he was never regularized? Because that's what he's saying here, to regularize myself finally. So we can, we can, we can conclude from William Moran's own words that all this time, from 1974 to 1980, he has not been regularized. He's been irregular. Not been incarnated, nothing. Not been accepted under the jurisdiction of Cardinal Slipe as a priest. Uh, you know the part that Father Pfeiffer uh, agrees with in this particular um, in 
no, I erased it at this point. So in that particular, uh, that post, the recent post of August 2018. Um, so we see here that William Moran has never been regularized canonically with the Catholic Church. So anyways, let's continue with that letter. As I, am, as I am in the process of being received into the Orthodox Church in America, a short note from your grace would be very helpful. If I, as I was under your jurisdiction for two years, February 14, 1975 to February 14, 1977, with permission to reside in the United States for the purpose of continuing graduate studies. Now notice here. Notice here, this letter. It's referencing the protocol number 2 slash 75C dated February 14, 1975. Here it is. Go back to it. Protocol number 2 slash 75C, February 14, 1975. So this 1980 letter is clearly the same William Moran to which Bishop Recchi addressed this 1975 letter. Okay, it's the same reference. So he goes on, a brief letter confirming this and stating that I am of good character would be appreciated very much. It could be sent through me to whom it may concern or directly to the Orthodox Church in America. I hope that your grace will rejoice with me in this situation solution to my canonical situation situation which can now be finally resolved so basically William Moran was in flux until this time canonically speaking so this letter really is very important because what it shows is that Bishop Moran uh, sorry William Moran was not consecrated a bishop by Cardinal Slipe this is proof in William Moran's own writing, okay? Anyways, taking from this letter, what I did was I wrote a post on July 31st, 1918, and I contacted the Orthodox Church in America. Okay, here it is right here. This is the, the website. I contacted, it's not, it's not Catholic, it's Orthodox. I uh, contacted them to find out uh, if they have any information regarding um, this alleged, you know, this application, not alleged because the evidence is right here. Uh, this application of William Moran to the Orthodox Church and I got a response from a father Eric Tosi Orthodox priest right here Father Eric Tosi here you can you can contact him yourself if you have any questions for him and basically, Father Tosi couldn't give me any official documentation. But he confirmed to me that back then in 1980, William Moran did apply to be under the, dur the jurisdiction of this uh, former Orthodox Metropolitan uh, Theo Theodosius which is the same the Metropolitan Archbishop Theodosius of the 1980 letter. So Father Tosi of the Orthodox Church in America said 
that he, that he did an extensive research of the archives and found some information about William Moran's application to the Orthodox Church in America. I then spoke to him, me, Tony, spoke to him over the phone, and he told me that William Moran applied to the Orthodox Church in America uh, as an Archimandrite, which is an honorary title for Eastern Orthodox and Ca uh, Eastern Catholic and Orthodox priests. Okay? He applied as a priest. That's exactly what we have here. Okay? Yet, we're told that he was consecrated a bishop before this, four years before. At that point, William Moran was interviewed and was given a theological test. The result was that he was not accepted into the Orthodox Church of America. And as I said, Father Tosi was not allowed to give me um, any documentation. We see here that twice in the letter and in the application, William Moran refers to him as a priest and not a bishop. And this four years after he was supposedly consecrated a bishop twice. Very strange. Remember that there's also the story of him being consecrated, that is, Ambrose Moran being consecrated a bishop in 1976 by the Orthodox. Okay? Um, but the, the key point here is that he was not consecrated a bishop, a cardinal slipe. I ask you, please, spread this, uh, this video to people who are still confused on this issue. Um, the evidence is just overwhelming. We have priests that are putting their names on the line. The newest being Father Travosky. It's probably the easiest to contact for most people in the English-speaking world. Here it is. Here's his... Um, he's a... He's, he's a a Ukrainian Greek Catholic priest right now uh, in um, in St. Michael's Ukrainian Greco-Catholic Church in Tucson, Arizona so you can contact him he also does um, does work at the uh, University of Toronto okay so my friends I, I, I hope I've presented really overwhelming evidence to show that Carnus, uh, that uh, Ambrose Moran was not consecrated a bishop by Carnus Lupe. Okay? Um, it is a lie. Ambr Ambrose Moran is fraudulently presenting himself as someone that he's not. Um, so please don't take Father Pfeiffer's word, um, do your own research if you want to do more, uh, but here I think I've, I've clearly presented um, evidence here that really we, we can have a moral certitude that Ambrose Moran uh, was not consecrated a bishop by Cardinal Slipe. Um, we have the the priest that you can contact. If you have any questions, you can uh, contact me um, at ecclesia at info at ecclesiamilitans.com. Well, my friends, I'll end the uh, the presentation here. I hope that uh, I brought some things to light. I know I've, I've made many posts and perhaps this presentation I thought would be a better way uh, for people to uh, understand um, some of the documents and some of the uh, some of the information in there uh, better so God bless and good night ladies and gentlemen thank you for taking your precious time to join us today be sure to visit us at www.ecclesiamilitans.com for our archive radio programs and other information in promotion and defense of the Catholic faith. Until next time, we wish you the best. <laughs>